Hello you guys, it's Friday and I'm back again with another coffee. Also today was donut day, so if you bought a drink you got a free donut. But I went to Dunkin' Donuts, which I never go to Dunkin' Donuts. I just feel like every coffee I've ever had from there is just like, uh. So I looked up TikTok like drinks to order at Dunkin'. And then also like, is it just me or is it just really hard to order drinks? on the Dunkin' app or like drinks at Dunkin' in general. But I just copied word for word what this girl orders and she gets a medium cold foam cold brew. The cold foam is vanilla sweet cream and it has three caramel swirls. I tried it before the sweet cream melted. It's pretty good. Also, another thing that I wanted to talk about is I literally just finished behind closed doors and I am unwell. I've literally been reaching out to everybody that I know that read the book already because I am unwell. So I started the book and I was like, mm, heard this story before, seen the movie. I don't know if I'm interested. I was kind of bored, hate the husband. And throughout the whole thing, I'm like, I don't even know if I want to keep reading this. And also it was kind of my fault. I didn't have as much time to read this week. So it kind of took me a little longer to read this. I, kind of, I think it took me from... Tuesday to Friday so it took me four days so I think if I could have read it quicker I would have liked it even more but honestly I gave it four stars so definitely recommend I really don't even want to say anything about that book I went into that book blind so I think that's how everybody should go into it um I would definitely look up the trigger warnings what the book looks like I'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere I have four books to love Jason Thorne to hate Adam Connor um on a quiet street which I would normally just jump into that but I need, I need a thriller break and then um I want to read the dreamland billionaires series so whatever book that one is the fine print I don't know if I should just jump into series I did order some books from Amazon so maybe one of those books I don't know I need something amazing you guys it's the next day and i thought i would do a little book haul um slash amazon haul because i ordered this cute little fan from amazon and it has three speeds inspired by keanu's mom <laughs> but i don't know why i didn't own one of these already like going outside in the summer here is not fun hopefully this makes it better there are some of the books i got i finally finally bought the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i'm finally gonna read it I don't know why it's taking me so long. Obviously, it's a popular book. Over 2 million copies sold. I know everybody and their mom has already read this. I don't know why it's, I'm just now reading this, but I'm excited to read a Taylor Jenkins read book again. I'm trying to read all of her books this year, so I'm excited to read that. Um, I think I got this from a podcast or like a TED Talk type of video. Finally, if you've watched my other videos, these are books that I read on Kindle Unlimited with my free trial and i just felt like it's okay to purchase these because i didn't pay for them like on the kindle app or and i'm not paying for the kindle app so i love these books i read them for free only thought it was fair if i bought them and these are just really good books this is a thriller i've talked about this before a thousand boy kisses that's all i got and i'm excited to put these in my bookshelf i think i'm gonna have to move things around because these are like the middle shelf colors so we will see Okay, mini haul time. I went to Abercrombie, don't mind. I haven't made my bed yet because we left and now my sheets are ready, but I just have to put them on. <laughs> but I got, everything's from Abercrombie except for the last part, but got this shirt. It looks really cute. Love the color. And everything was on sale plus 60% off. I also got three pairs of shorts because Keanu convinced me that I could wear these casually for errands. 
and as a fit, so. <laughs> got black, like a dark green, and the light blue. And then I got some cargo pants, like a, what color would you say this is? Green, gray? Like a charcoal gray, almost green. And then I went to PacSun, they were having buy one, get one free on socks. Can always use some socks, so got these two. Yay! I hope you can hear me because it is 96 degrees outside and my AC is blasting a little too hard actually so I'm gonna turn it down but I wanted to do I wanted to bring back my Starbucks taste tests so today I got a white mocha with a pump of hazelnut syrup no whip vanilla sweet cream cold foam and caramel drizzle which I don't think you guys can see but um but I got this coffee like 15 minutes ago. Didn't want to do the review in the parking lot because it looked like it was really busy and I didn't want to take up a spot. Okay, I made a mess. I also got a little cake pop. It's their summer cake pop, I think. It's like a little bee. And I cannot confirm if this is a lemon cake pop or not. I think it is, but I didn't actually read it. So I think I'm gonna try this first before it melts. So let's see. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't know if that was my favorite cake pop. And I was getting like a hint of lemon maybe. Um, but mainly vanilla like a regular cake pop. Coffee time. So I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. A lot of it melted already because I had to drive here, but it's okay. Ooh. It tastes good. It reminds me of that other like white mocha drink that I tried last time with the cold foam and caramel drizzle. Except this one has hazelnut. It kind of reminds me of the same flavor, maybe because it's the same base of a white mocha, but overall it's pretty good. I do think I like the other one better, but this one is not bad. Would I get it again? I don't think so. I, I think I like the other one more, but this one's worth a try. Anyways, I'm going to bring this inside. I think I'm going to start a new book today. Um, I looked up a bunch of um, summer reads, so I'm excited to read something summery. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. I can't believe I haven't talked about this yet, but I finally read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and it was so good. Like, I can't believe it took me that long to finally read that book. It was so good. I loved it pulled at the heartstrings and put me in all of my feels and then like the little twist at the end wow like I can't even imagine I really liked what I really liked reading about her glamorous lifestyle too I definitely gave that book a five stars out of five I can't believe it took me so long to read so I think the next one I'm going to read like eventually it's probably Carrie Soto is back and I think that might be the last book I need to read um I haven't read Daisy Jones and the Six um I just don't feel like it's like my kind of vibe but I don't know I've heard really good things about it but I've also heard like people that didn't vibe with it and I feel like that's going to be me I also tried watching the show I know that's cheating but I tried watching the show and I don't know I couldn't really get into it maybe it's because I didn't read the book but I just feel like it's not gonna work out for me so maybe that's just gonna be the one book I don't read but I don't know we're halfway through the year almost so who knows maybe I will end up reading it also I checked my Goodreads earlier this week and I've already read 36 books and I was very surprised I didn't think I've read that many but here I am 
Okay, I'm gonna go read and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Also, thank you so much for 200 subscribers. Like, I can't even believe it. But thank you so much and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what you're currently reading, what your summer read is, or what your favorite summer book is. Um, because I'm trying to find all the summer reads. So, yeah. Okay, bye!